Piotr has come from Moscow to visit his wife, who's being held in Colony 14. Before each visit, he does a little shopping in one of the village stores. I've bought Nadia some bananas, oranges, dried fruits, uh, fruit-flavored teas. Why are you buying all this? Well, there's not much food in prison. That's why we bring things from the outside. Piotr's wife is well known. She's Nadia Tolonikova of Pussy Riot, here seen wearing green. Last year, along with four other militants, Nadia occupied the largest cathedral in Moscow for an anti-Putin punk prayer session. Nadia was charged with hooliganism and incitement of religious hatred. Her 50-second performance cost her two years in prison. To Piotr, the sentence was purely political. And Mordovia is symbolic, as Stalin built the first gulags here in the 1920s. Mordovia is known for its brutality. This is where the political prisoners were held. They wrote a lot about it, uh, the life in these camps. So Mordovia has always been associated in Russia with political prisoners. Stop, stop filming, it's not allowed. Stop filming. The next stop is at the court in Zubova Poliana. Nadia asks to be released on parole. Pussy Riot wears prison uniform. There's no raised fist, and the strident anti-Putin activists behave like a model prisoner. I read several political news magazines, uh, the New Times, for example. I realize now, after reading them, what's happening in the outside world, and to stay away from troublemakers in prison. All day, her life in prison is examined, her psychological profile, her workshop performance, her letters. Her father, however, believes it's all just a sham. It's just a formality. It's 100% certain that it'll be refused. There's not the slightest political signal or will in, in this sense. To the penitentiary's management, Nadia doesn't deserve freedom as she's refused to ask for forgiveness. And it's the argument that the tribunal uses. The request for release on parole is denied. The judgment is no surprise, and Nadja has to put up with it. Someone in the room cries shame, as Nadja is led away in handcuffs. Piotr, her husband, claims it's a warning to all political opponents. Vladimir Putin has decided to send people to prison to repress the discontent in Russia. It's also to show everyone where the line is that shouldn't be crossed, and if it is, the retribution will be brutal. The young woman is taken back to the camps in a van, knowing she has to serve her full sentence up to March 2014. Pussy Riot's fate was decided here in this cathedral close to the Kremlin. Katya is the group's guitarist. She was also arrested and was remanded in custody for seven months before finally being released. So this is the scene of the crime, as they say. <laughs> this is where we did the show, yes. There was no crime. That's what's so absurd about it. Throughout the whole affair, it was obvious to everyone we were innocent. 
But unfortunately, there was all this crazy propaganda about our alleged blasphemy. Everything was done to make us appear in a bad light. Katya is free but under probation. She has to register with the police once a month. It wasn't the first time Pussy Riot had made waves. Throughout the winter of 2011-2012, the feminist group carried out a series of protests in front of a police station, inside luxury goods shops, and in particular, Red Square, right under the Kremlin. Vladimir Putin was prime minister at the time and doesn't stop the unprecedented protest. But then the authorities got scared. It, it seemed to be a sign they'd lost control. And that's what they fear the most. Putin, in the meanwhile, had once again become president. We know we're under surveillance. Let's say the, the secret services are interested in us, and clearly their mission is to prevent us doing anything. Today we're under threat. I'm on probation and could be sent back to prison. The other two girls who were with us in the Christ the Saviour Cathedral that day risk being arrested. A dozen or so Pussy Riot members are still at liberty, but now they don't dare risk showing up anywhere in their trademark hoodies.